the Sapporo Beer Garden. When I first came to Japan over 30, 35 years ago with my friend Masaki and Sushimata, we went there and I still have to remember all you can eat, all you can drink. And every time I came back, if I came to Sapporo, I would always go to the beer garden. That was like a half to, right? It's like the rite of passage. You come to Sapporo and you gotta go to the Sapporo Beer Garden. It was because you could eat and drink all you want. And before, 20, 30 years ago, you could stay as long as you want. There was no time limit. And my friend Rex, he always told me the star of him and his three friends came here. And I think they stayed for like five hours from right before lunch all the way through dinner just eating and drinking eating and drinking because there was no limit on how long you could stay but now I think it's a hundred minutes support a big beer garden should be careful about not limiting it too much that's the perfect place for Americans because you're eating meat and second it's all you can drink beer and you know you can eat as much as you want you know a lot of the portions in Japan are actually quite small and so for a lot of some Americans they still feel hungry after but if you go to the beer garden you're guaranteed to be satisfied as long as you like lamb